Oh, hey, Kevin. Hi. How are you? It's okay. Thanks. Yeah. A little out of hand up there, huh? Yeah. Hi, Chris. What are you doing with those mouse traps? Uh, well, you left them with me upstairs. I'm just bringing them back to you. Oh, for heaven's sake, I forgot. Yeah. Thanks. Felicia said you were going to store them someplace. Yeah. You didn't catch any mice. I can find them one that's missing. You missing? You missing one? Yeah, I looked everywhere. I can't find it. Huh. You know, that's weird that you didn't even catch one mouse. I mean, everybody in the Brownstone said that they heard mice, right? You know, whatever they heard, it wasn't mice. Yeah. You know something about these traps? You remember there's a floorboard that was loose outside of our apartment and there was a hole underneath it? Yeah. Well, uh, Bobby could have put one of the traps in there, maybe. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. I'll go check it out for you, all right? Yeah, thanks. Okay. Frisco, what are you doing? I'm looking for that last mousetrap. Jake said he's missing just one. Oh. Oh, that's not up here. I'm, I laid them up here. Oh. Look at that floorboard. The, the broken one outside your apartment. I may have stuck it in the hole oh. in there. I know exactly where you mean. I'll check it out. in here. Huh. That's funny. Well, who can remember where you put 24 mouse traps? It could be on another floor. I don't know. Not in here. I give up. I'm going to ask Terry and Kevin if they want to have dinner with Jake and me. What are you doing? You just said it was shh, shh, shh. I didn't want Bobby to see this. Some sort of letter. Your Uncle Earl Moody did not leave Walton. If you want to find him, go to the Moody family plot. You'll find a shallow grave there without a headstone. Be a good nephew and honor your uncle's remains. This is pay dirt. I gotta get a hold of Anna. Anna, we're on to something. What? What? Did you find out what the brothers were fighting about? No, I tried to listen, but the doors are sort of thick at the brownstone. What are you so excited about? Check this out. I found this hidden under the floorboard outside my apartment. Be a good nephew and honor your uncle's remains. This is fantastic, Frisco. We've got to find out who wrote this. I think the killer must have taken this off of Johnson's body and then hidden it under the floorboard. Right. Same way that he hid the chain and medallion before he filed off the initials and then threw it in the trash, right? It's all falling into place, isn't it? Finally it is, yeah. The pieces of this puzzle are very complex. I feel like there's a ticking bomb under the brownstone, and I don't know when it's going to go off. Anna, don't be in such a rush, Frisco. Remember, you're back. My back is fine. i got to get to Anna's office. Why don't you sit down and put the other shoe on? It's... Oh, yeah. Should have thought of that, huh? And that's another reason why you need me to think. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I just have to get over to Anna and see if she found anything about how about the letter I found last night. You know, I want to know, too. Could be a big clue as to who the murderer is, couldn't it? Yes. <clears throat> I'm coming with you. No. Frisco! Felicia, I want you to stay here. I want you to do something for me today, okay? I want you to talk to Terry, and I want you to try to find out if she knows anything about the reasons why Kevin and, and Patrick were fighting. Now, there's a lot of things going on here. You could be a big help, baby. I can't spy on her. She's my friend. It's for her own good. She could be in real danger. Okay? Well, all right, if you put it that way. All right. But you're going to tell me about the note, won't you? I'll tell me all you about, about it. No, as soon as I get back from Anna's office. Okay? I got to go.